Colburn Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 54, Family, Relationship, Son. Much of the book is to develop your moral code. Avoid using it to judge others. NPR 54, 5. Your son is what you have made him. If he grows up a failure or weakling, then add not to your unworthiness as a father by rejecting him. He remains flesh of your flesh and your responsibility and burden. In the fullness of time, you can make amends. NPR 54, 6. The first step in begetting worthy sons is to make a wise choice of their mother. NPR 54-7 A riches in position. A father may not be able to give his son, but example in good counsel, discipline, and a guiding hand into manhood can be given by every father. And these are the birthright of every son. Cursed be the despicable man who denies his own son this birthright. NPR 54-8 No man has ever turned from his father and departed from his household. And because he was not given riches and possessions, but many men have turned away from their fathers because they did not receive proper instruction, guidance, and opportunity. Consequences or punishment? Because we are not focused on the cause. That would tell us the punishment is because of what we did. Something no one likes to do. See how today's reality is because of the things we get away with before. We like that time. Why would we see that time as the reason we are being punished today? When you interfere, some see punishment and learn a lesson. You say you tell them they're doing wrong. Or were you consistent? Did you say something and never follow through? Adjust your punishment because it inconvenienced you. That teaches them they only need to wait you out, and they get less punishment. They don't have to see the cause because that doesn't matter. Just be able to tolerate more than those imposing punishment, and you win. It's insane, but if you look at how they are behaving, it makes sense.